equation of the plane bisecting the angle between the planes. I just want to have the equation of the plane which is P which is the angle bisector of the planes P1 and P2. First let us understand what is the intersection of two planes. Say suppose I have one plane over here and there is another plane like this okay when they intersect you can observe that point of intersection is nothing but the set of all points which is a line in this case you just hold a book open the book and see uh, right hand side is this part say suppose you consider this as the right hand side part and this is the left hand side part of the book then the point of contact its point of intersection is nothing but the straight line in case of two planes okay now there will be an angle between these two planes and bisector angle bisector is nothing but the plane which is bisecting the angle between these two planes so when i open this may be acute angle and uh, one more will be the obtuse angle so i have a plane i have two planes in in fact one is bisecting the acute angle and another one is down over here which is bisecting the obtuse angle okay so just like this i have p1 and p2 over here this is one plane and this is another plane so there will be an angle between these two planes say this is internal angle i'm considering here say and this plane p is angle bisector of these two planes p1 and p2 in the sense angle between the plane p1 and p is alpha and angle between p and p2 is also alpha okay this is the acute angle bisector so there will be another angle between the planes that is outside which is the obtuse angle and we need to find the equation of that plane also which which bisects the obtuse angle okay now let us learn how to do that okay see the thing is when i have when i consider a point on this angle bisecting plane okay i can draw a perpendicular to this plane and i can even draw a perpendicular to this plane right so I can find the distance between these two planes a say this is b and c okay now since it is an angle bisector distance a b is same as distance a c and distance a b is nothing but the distance between the two planes and same p1 p2 distance between p1 p2 p1 and p is same as distance between p and p2 so equation of the plane p is nothing but say so first i'll mention what is p1 e equation of the plane p1 let me consider as a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d equal to 0 this is the first plane and let me take p2 as a2x b2y plus c2 z plus say d1 and d2 equal to 0 okay i have two plane equations p1 p2 okay now i want to find the equation of the plane which is the angle bisector of p1 and p2 so equation of angle bisector between p1 and p2 is nothing but the distance between the two planes so which will be nothing but a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 divided by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square which is nothing but since it's a distance we consider modulus or else we have to write plus or minus so it's a2x 
plus b two y plus c two z plus d two divided by root of a two square plus b two square plus c two square. Okay, which is the angle bisector? I mean, equation of the angle bisector of two planes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there will be two angles forming between the uh, two planes when they intersect. So, one is the acute angle, and another one is the obtuse angle. Okay, so when we consider the coefficient c1, a2, b1, c1. C two D one D two. First thing you have to observe whether this D one and D two are positive or not. Okay, so this gives you the equation of the plane planes bisecting the two planes. Now I just want to check which among this is the acute angle bisector and which one is the obtuse angle bisector. Okay, for that first step. Is to consider, I mean, to check whether D1 and D2 are positive or not. If they are positive, then no issues. If they are not positive, means if this D1 is negative over here, suppose, then you just multiply entire equation by negative sign to make D1 positive. Okay, so that is the first step. And the second step is you have to take the coefficient products. That's a1, a2. Plus b1, b2, plus c1, c2. You take this product. Okay. If this product is greater than zero, then obtuse bisector, obtuse angle bisector, or obtuse bisector is negative. Okay, obtuse bisector is negative in the sense in this equation you have to substitute negative sign. I mean you have to use negative sign, and on solving you will get the equation. No, that will be the uh, obtuse angle bisector of two planes. Okay. Similarly, acute angle bisector will be the other one. Acute angle bisector will be the positive. Suppose if you are getting the product a one, some of the products of the coefficients a one, a two, b one, b two plus c one, c two as negative, then obtuse angle bisector will be positive equation. Okay, and acute angle will be acute angle bisector will be the negative. Equation. I'm repeating. You have to first check. You have to uh, check whether d1, d2 are positive or not. If it, they are not positive, then entire equation is multiplied by a negative sign to make d1, d2 positive. Okay, that is the first thing. Then you have to check for a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 whether it is positive or not. If this is positive. If they have asked for the obtuse angle bisector, then you take the negative over here, negative equation. Okay. If they have asked for acute angle bisector, then you consider the positive sign over here. Okay. You you will be getting two equation. Once you substitute plus sign, you will get one equation. And if you substitute second negative, then you will get the second equation. Okay. So positive will be the Acute angle bisector if the product is greater than zero, and this will be the obtuse angle bisector if that is negative. Okay, so let us take one problem based on this. Find the equation of the plane bisecting the angle between the planes x plus two y plus two z minus nineteen equal to zero, and four x minus three y. Plus twelve z plus three equal to zero. So the plane one equation is x plus two y plus two z minus nineteen equal to zero. That's the equation of the plane one, and equation of the plane two is four x minus three y plus twelve z plus three equal to zero. 
first thing is you have to find the equation of the plane bisecting the angle between the planes we know that equation is of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 divided by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square which is equal to plus or minus a2x b2y plus c2z plus d2 divided by root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square okay here a1 is 1 b1 is 2 c1 is 2 and d1 is minus 19 so i'll directly write x plus 2y plus 2z minus 19 divided by root of 1 plus 4 plus 4 which is equal to plus or minus 4x minus 3y plus 12z plus 3 divided by root of 16 plus 9 plus 144 so this will be x plus 2y plus 2z minus 19 divided by 3 equal to plus or minus 4x minus 3y plus 12z plus 3 divided by 13 144 yeah 169 so it's 13 okay so equation of the plane uh, which bisects the um, given two planes will be uh, say 13 into x plus 2y plus 2z minus 19 equal to plus or minus 3 into this okay this is uh, i mean depending on the uh, sign which we are considering there will be two planes when i have two planes they are intersecting each other and the angle bisector will also be two depending on the sign okay so which one is the acute angle bisector among these two that we have to check okay so if i consider positive sign here okay what it will be 13 into x plus 2y plus 2z minus 19 equal to 3 into 4x minus 3y plus 12z plus 3 so on simplifying this we will get x plus 35y minus 10z minus 256 equal to 0 this is if i consider positive sign so if i consider the negative sign then this will be 13 x plus 2y plus 2z minus 19 minus 3 into 4x minus 3y plus 12z plus 3 okay so on simplifying this i'm getting 25x plus 17y plus 62z minus 238 equal to 0. Now, among these two, I have to check which is obtuse angle bisector and which is acute angle bisector. Okay. So, first that I said, first thing I have to check for D1 and D2, whether it is positive or not okay here in this case d1 is not positive you can observe d1 is negative so i'm going to rewrite that equation so it, i have to multiply p1 with the negative sign so that equation will be minus x minus 2y minus 2z plus 19 equal to 0 so this p1 is rewritten here and p2 as it is no issue because i have d2 as positive only so no problem okay now that is the first step and second step i have to check for a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 let us check for that value so it is minus 1 into 4 so minus 4 minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6 and this is minus 2 into 12 is minus 24 i'm getting this as negative 
if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is negative then obtuse, uh, obtuse angle bisector is the positive sign consideration and acute angle bisector is the negative one so positive one is the obtuse angle bisector so this equation is the obtuse angle bisector obtuse bisector and the other one is the acute angle bisector if you want i'll write it down over here so since it is negative obtuse angle bisector is the positive equation positive equation so equation formed from by taking positive sign so that is in this case x plus how much i was getting x plus 35y x plus 35y minus 10z minus 256 equal to 0 and acute angle bisector acute angle bisector is the other one that's 25x plus 17y plus 62z minus 238 equal to 0 this is the case uh, where I have considered the special type of problem where you are getting D1 as negative. Let us take one more simple problem where D1 and D2 are positive. Find the equation of the plane. Planes bisecting the planes 2x minus y plus 2z plus 3 equal to 0 3x minus 2y plus 6z plus 8 equal to 0 so this is plane p1 and this is p2 you can observe that d1 d2 are positive so equation of the uh, angle bisector or the plane planes which bisects these two planes p1 p2 is 2x minus y plus 2z plus 3 divided by root of the square sum of the squares of the coefficients so 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is equal to plus or minus 3x minus 2y plus 6z plus 8 divided by root of 9 plus 4 plus 36 so this is 40 49 so it is 7 i'm directly writing 7 into 2x minus y plus 2z plus 3 which is equal to plus or minus this is 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 9 root 9 is 3 so i'm directly taking it to right hand side so 3 into 3x minus 2y plus 6z plus 8 so this is the equation of the planes bisecting the two planes now if i consider the positive sign then the equation of the plane will be uh, 7 into 2 is 14 14 minus 9 so this will be 5x minus y minus 4z minus 3 equal to 0 okay and if i consider the negative sign uh, 14x minus uh, minus minus so it will be plus so it will be 14 plus 9x so it is 23x then minus 7y minus 6y so minus 13y plus 32z plus plus 8 so it's 45 equal to 0 so you are getting two equations so now i have uh, to find out they asked for the acute angle bisector okay so since i wanted acute angle bisector i have to check first case checking for d1 d2 positive here in this case this is true so directly i'll go for checking a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 what it is how much it is that i have to check 
so 2 into 3 that is 6 plus then minus 1 into minus 2 that is 2 then 2 into 6 that is sorry where it is yeah 2 into 6 it is 12 plus 12 so it is positive only so no need to worry when uh, a1 a2 plus b1 b2 and c1 c2 is greater than 0 then negative 1 is the obtuse bisector and positive 1 is the acute angle bisector negative equation is the obtuse angle bisector obtuse bisector and positive equation will be the acute angle bisector since they are asking for the acute angle bisector so equation of acute angle bisector is positive 1 the positive 1 is 5x minus y minus 4z minus 3 so 5x minus y minus 4z minus 3 equal to 0. This will be the acute angle bisector. Thank you.